A group of farmers in Busia County have ventured into cassava value addition as a way of minimizing post-harvest losses and increasing their earnings. The farmers who now make an assortment of products from cassava, including flour, crisps and animal feeds, are looking to expand their markets beyond Busia. Cassava is an important crop for smallholder farmers as it's less labor intensive and drought resistant. Despite its high nutritional value over the years, Busia residents have been viewing cassava as a poor man's food with the crop mostly grown for subsistence use. Cassava roots contain a lot of moisture and once harvested they can rot quickly with the fresh roots barely lasting for two days. To minimize cases of post harvest losses, Farmers in parts of Busia County have started value addition venture. Bitterness, cyanide uh, acid inside it, it reduced by fermentation process. And then after that, after fermentation, you clean, you wash it, you crush it, then you put it on the sun. After drying, you prepare for ugali. The farmers process cassava to produce snacks, flour, and animal feeds. <laughs> Before processing, the cassava is graded into two types, the bitter and sweet varieties to inform the processing methods. The varieties we have is local, like this one here, Magana. We have Magana, is a bitter variety that we know. Magana, it takes long to mature. Since they started the cassava venture, the farmers who mainly comprise of women have been overwhelmed by the demand of processed cassava bread and crisps. This has forced them to source for produce from neighboring regional farms to satisfy their demand. The farmers say their expertise in processing cassava has seen them gain loyal customers and are seeking to expand their businesses to other regions. The cassava processing, they say, has also reduced cases of aflatoxin contamination in the area. Benson Ruba for Farmwise.